They were Hollywood's golden couple, a love story that seemed destined to last a lifetime. But in the blink of an eye, tragedy struck, leaving behind unanswered questions and a void that could never be filled. Rumors swirled, conspiracy theories emerged, and the public was left grasping for answers. Did they fall victim to a medical mystery? Was something more at play? Join us as we peel back the layers of their lives, delve into the mysteries surrounding their deaths, and explore the enduring legacy of Robert Ulrich and his wife, Heather Menzies. Captain finally did apologize. For real. I couldn't believe it. Well, anyway, that's why I haven't been around much all day. Well, that's okay. It gave me time to think. You're absolutely right. Robert Michael Urich's Career Highlights Robert Michael Urich, known for his detective roles in TV series like Vegas and Spencer for Hire, was a renowned American actor and TV producer. Throughout his 30-year career in Hollywood, he appeared in a remarkable 15 TV shows. He was married to actress Heather Menzies for many years, famous for her role in The Sound of Music. Drop of golden sun. Me! A name I call myself. Ah! A long, long way to run. Unfortunately, their lives faced a tragic turn. Despite a sad ending, Urich enjoyed fame and consistent work in entertainment. His TV career began in 1973 with a small role in Bob and Carol and Ted and Alice. Later, he landed a significant role in the action crime drama series SWAT in 1975. He then joined the primetime comedy soap, which humorously mimicked soap operas, though his character was written off after a season, leading to more opportunities. My son, my son, my son. <laughs> this is my job, Turkey! <laughs> Dad! Peter! 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 Urich's major breakthrough arrived when he portrayed Dan Tanna, a private detective, in the hit series Vegas from 1978 to 1981. This show, airing on ABC, boosted Urich's fame, establishing him as a tough, no-nonsense investigator and earning him two Golden Globe Award nominations. Despite its relatively short run, Vegas solidified Urich's image as a tough guy. He continued this trend with a similar role in the title character in Spencer for Hire based on Robert B. Parker's book series, which aired from 1985 to 1988. This further contributed to Urich's success in television. After Spencer for Hire concluded, Urich continued to land occasional roles on TV. Now listen to me, Spencer. I'm not selling this. You don't see a sign on it. Sam, this is destiny. I gotta have this car. Forget it, Spencer. Look, if you were selling it, how much would you take for it? I don't know. I mean, it certainly cost less than a brand new one, right? Well, I suppose I. You got uh, eighty-nine thousand miles on this car. I've got forty-five hundred on mine. Yeah, so what do you I'll say? I'll swap you car for car. Challenges in Urich's life. Yet his most difficult and personal challenge was still ahead, one that even he couldn't overcome. In 1988, he embarked on hosting a documentary series named National Geographic Explorer, earning a Cable Ace Award for his outstanding contributions. Additionally, he was honored with a Golden Boot Award for his impact on Western TV series and films. There's something wrong with her? Uh, she was being treated by a doctor. <laughs> she had headaches. Is that so bad? Not bad enough to call in a doctor for treatment. Well, she was worried about him. Scared she ended up like a mother who died in an asylum after suffering from headaches. In 1993, Urich received an Emmy for narrating a nature documentary, surprisingly discovering his nomination and win when the Emmy was delivered to his home by FedEx. By 1996, he starred in The Lazarus Man. Unfortunately, the show faced cancellation after Urich disclosed his diagnosis of synovial sarcoma, a rare form of cancer. Despite his upfront acknowledgement of his condition and his commitment to work while seeking treatment, the production company regrettably decided to end the show before its second season. This event marked the beginning of a trying and sorrowful period in Urich's life. Despite facing illness, Urich persisted in his career actively raising funds for cancer research. His victory over cancer in 1998 led to his return to television in the UPN series Love Boat, The Next Wave. Uh, what is it, Jeff? Well, 
Why do I feel like your heart isn't in this? What are you talking about? You're, you're a fantastic girl. I've always thought you were beautiful and sensitive. I think you're great. By 2000, he made his Broadway debut as Billy Flynn in the musical Chicago. Unfortunately, his final acting role was in the NBC sitcom Emerald in 2001. That same year, legal action was taken against Castle Rock Television by Robert Urick, seeking approximately $1.5 million. Despite the lawsuit, Urick remained remarkably friendly and chose to settle out of court for an undisclosed amount, believing the issue was straightforward and holding no ill will toward those involved. Sadly, Urick's optimistic outlook couldn't prolong his life for much longer. Heather Menzies, Career and Personal Life in 2002, Robert Urich succumbed to synovial cell sarcoma, leaving behind his wife, Heather Menzies, who had been by his side throughout his challenging journey. Their marriage of over 25 years saw them united in their fight against cancer until the very end. However, Urich's passing did not mark the conclusion of Menzies' own battle against this relentless adversary known as cancer. Before delving into her story, let's briefly explore Heather Menzies herself. Heather Menzies, renowned for her role in The Sound of Music, didn't reach the same level of fame as her husband, Robert Urich. Nonetheless, she displayed exceptional talent. Her journey in showbiz began when her family moved to Los Angeles from Canada when she was a teenager. Securing her breakout role in The Sound of Music at 14, it stood as her most significant achievement. Afterward, she intermittently found work in entertainment, even crossing paths with her future husband on a commercial set for Libby's Corned Beef Hash. Proficient in acting and ballet, she excelled in various roles in TV shows like Bonanza, Dragnet, and The Bob Newhart Show, and earned credits in films such as Piranha and The Computer Wore Tennis Shoes. I have to say that the friendships that were formed, you know, uh, during the filming, is what I take from it. And the most valuable part of, of making this film for me was, was are the friendships. I mean, it was all fun. I mean, I think this, the Do Re Mi sequence was was probably the most fun. You know, running all over the hills and singing that wonderful Do Re Mi song, and and uh, I mean, it was just hysterical. It was, it Despite was her skills, Menzies found her true passion after meeting Robert Urick, her family. Their bond led her to prioritize family over her career. Together, they raised three children and fostered a strong relationship. This closeness fueled Menzies' deep involvement in cancer-related causes, leading her to establish the Robert Urich Foundation to support sarcoma research after her husband's passing. Despite her dedication, her personal battle with cancer soon became deeply significant. Heather Menzies' Battle with Cancer Fans of The Sound of Music are mourning the loss of one of the singing Von Trapp children, Actress Heather Menzies Urick died at the age of 68 from brain cancer. The 1965 hit movie captured five Academy Awards, including Best Picture. In 2017, Menzies received a devastating brain cancer diagnosis, leaving her with only four weeks to live. Despite this grim news, she exhibited incredible courage and determination. On Christmas Eve of the same year, Heather Menzies passed away surrounded by the family she and Robert Urick had created together. She was the most giving person and fun and energetic and just not self-serving in the least. Their three children remained by her side until the very end, echoing Menzies' unwavering support for her husband during his own battle with cancer 15 years prior. It might seem ironic that someone who had shown immense strength in aiding her husband's fight against cancer and dedicated her remaining years to combating the disease would ultimately succumb to it herself. How did you know his name? There's time to answer all your questions later. But first, the protector wants to meet you. The protector? He rules sanctuary. Her passing was a tragedy, but carried a glimmer of hope. Facing her own death, Heather Menzies likely found solace in the reunion with her beloved husband, Robert Urich. Despite the tragic decades-long battle with cancer, there's a bittersweet sense of closure to their story. Cancer remains a global affliction affecting countless lives, yet the love and tireless efforts of the Urich and Menzies, whether individually or together, leave a legacy that may alleviate some suffering for future generations. Legacy and Continued Commitment 
The Robert Urich Foundation, overseen by their children like Ryan Urich, still upholds their commitment. Inspired by his parents' experiences, Ryan pursued a career in medicine aiming to impact those confronting similar challenges. The story of Robert Urich and Heather Menzies is a blend of anguish and affection, showcasing their unwavering love and enduring hope. Their deep bond persisted even beyond life as Heather dedicated herself to combating the illness that claimed her husband. Their marriage epitomized remarkable perseverance and love, an uncommon feat, especially in the public eye. For more than 20 years, they faced life's trials together, their love enduring even in their absence. Their legacy thrived through their dedication to aiding others in similar hardships. This concludes the poignant tale of Robert Urich and Heather Menzies, a testament to the enduring strength of love in the face of overwhelming odds. You're not coming home because she's baby. Yes, I am. I'm coming home for you. For us. If you like this video, click the next one shown on the screen. Thanks for watching.